Good morning. Today is Tuesday, November 15th. Our names are Rachel and Melanie. And this is Filer Today. Today. Today's schedule is 246. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and now for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. The after school cooking program will begin Tuesday, November 15th in the cafeteria. Those students who turned in the application will meet in the cafeteria at 4 p.m. to begin cooking with Chef Courtney. Look forward to seeing you there, Mr. Wubel. Family Scholars meeting every Thursday after school. Citizenship Pride meeting every week on Tuesday. Students, please remember to order and buy your school sweater in the PTA store. Builders Club meeting November 29th. If interested in joining SWA, please speak to Mrs. Strada. And now to sports. It was announced yesterday that Butch Davis is Florida's International University's new football coach. FIU signed Davis for a five-year contract and has coaching experience in both the NFL as head coach for the Cleveland, for the Cleveland Browns and heading the programs at the University of Miami and the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Most recently, Butch Davis has been working on a college game day analysis on ESPN. And now to weather. Today's forecast is a high of 77 degrees with a 30% chance of rain and it's going to be rainy and cloudy. And now, now to, to joke Murray. of the day. If I gave you two cats and another two cats and another two, how many would you have? Seven! No, listen carefully. If I gave you two cats and another two cats and another two, how many would you have? Seven! Let me put it to you differently. If, you, if I gave you two apples, another two apples and another two apples, how many would you have? Six. Good. Now, if I give you two cats, another two cats, and another two cats, how many would you have? Seven! Johnny, where do you get seven from? Because I already have a freaking cat at home! And now, to, to Maria. Maria. On this day, in 1777, the Continental Congress agrees to adopt the Articles of Confederation. Patriot leaders, thinking from British oppression, were reluctant to establish any form of government that might infringe on the right of individual states to govern their own affairs. The Articles of Confederation then provided for only a loose federation of American states. Congress was a single house with each state having one vote and a president elected to share the assembly. Our current constitution eventually replaced the articles in 1789. Thank you. Now, to daily. Students, please remember the school-wide behavior expectation. Be resourceful, ready, responsible, respectful, and healthy. Thank you. This has been Violet Today.